What we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at Photoshop Elements 4.0 and we're going to talk about how to import your photos off of your camera and onto your hard drive and into the, into the organizer. We've got the organizer open here as you can see. You can see a bunch of photos that I've got that I've taken in the past and I've got the camera turned on and what we're going to do now, a lot of times when you install Photoshop Elements 4.0 at first it'll put a little program in that sits in the system tray and as soon as you turn your camera on it'll bring you into the photo importer but I've got mine set up so that I do it manually now up in the upper left corner here you can see this little camera icon if I hit the down arrow I've got different places I can get it from and we're gonna go from camera or card reader which brings us into the photo downloader now in the photo downloader up on the upper right hand side you see get photos from we open that up and in my case the G drive is my camera and, and this could also be just a card reader that where you can take the, the memory card straight out of the camera and slide it into a card reader it's going to act the same way now I just took a handful of photos here you can see I've got all these photos that I just kind of ran around the house real quick and snapped just for this and we can go through and we can do all sorts of things to select them if I right click here I can uncheck all um, or I can uncheck this particular selected one because you'll see there's a little blue border around that one and I'm going to go ahead and unselect them all for a second you'll notice that these check boxes are now empty I could also go back in and check all now this one over here uh, that I took of my wife when she was just working and didn't look at me or anything I really don't want this one this isn't, that good. This isn't a good photo at all so I'm going to go ahead and unselect that one um, oh a second let me let me check all and and we go over here now I'm going to go and un uncheck that in okay, case so I got one excluded it says up here one excluded now over on the right hand side it says save files where are you going to save them and now I c I've come up with a bit of a, of a scheme to do this with and what I do is under my pictures I have different dated subdirectories and on my local laptop where I'm working I just have these listed on the hard big hard drive that I store them for long term I actually have like a 19 uh, like a 2009 folder 2008 folder 2007 folder so I can kind of keep them separated a little bit so but I put them all below my pictures now I'm gonna leave this at my pictures because I'm gonna create a subfolder using a new name if I do date time of import it's gonna be today but a lot of times you're gonna be importing stuff that you made have shot a week or two or a month ago or sometimes some people they'll go through and they won't even like uh, import them until they get a whole bunch of them done and you're going to select smaller groups of them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead I'm going to put today's date on it simply because that's when I took the shots but I'm going to 2009-2-23 so it's the date that the event happened or I took the photos or whatever and then I'm going to name it so I'm going to call this one Photoshop demo of organizer and then but right below that you see rename files too I'm going to check that on because by default they're going to get these really bizarre names DSCF 1560 1559 these don't mean anything and down the road if I'm going to look for a, a, a picture it's that's not going to mean anything at all this at least tells me the group that that particular photo is in and it's going to put 001, 002, 003 after that and I like to put a dash in between the last word and the numbers so I just put a dash in there too. Now if you want you can have it automatically detect and fix red eye I usually will leave that off because I want to go ahead and manually do that myself um, and it also really slows down the import but there we, we got that going and I'm gonna go ahead and click get photos now it's gonna go out and it's going to bring those particular photos into that subdirectory and rename them um, the way that I've got that typed in. Then it comes up here and it says the files have been imported. Do you want to delete them from, from the camera? And I'm going to say yes. Get rid of them. I've got them now. I don't need them on the camera anymore. And if you notice now, all I have here is the four photos that we imported. What it does then in the organizer is going to limit you to just those particular photos which is really nice now I'm gonna go over and in I've got my tags here 
And so, like, I've got events, 2009. I got other. Um, I'm, okay, I've got these major categories. I'm going to go ahead and put this in other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a new tag. Uh, I'm not going to get real fancy with how to organize things with tags because you can do sub tags and all that. And all I'm going to do with, the, with call this is Photoshop, oh, not chop shop, demo. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little note in here too. This is my demo of organizer. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now I've got this tag here. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and I can click on the first one and shift click on the last one. So all of these are selected. Then I can go ahead and drag them and toss them on the tag. Or I could take the tag and toss it on, on the photos too. Either way. You can go ahead and put multiple tags onto a particular photo too. Let me go ahead and just create one more tag. I'll call it my silly tag. And it's just going to be out there just so we can do this demo here. And I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag this to there. And now all of these photos I can get to either from Photoshop demo or my silly tag. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and go back to all photos. So I click on back to all photos. And if you notice, here's the newest ones I've got in here. And here's the other ones I had from before. Now, if I wanted to go back and look at just the Photoshop demo, all I have to do is double click onto that particular tag, and there they are. Or I can go back to all photos. If I'm busy now getting ready to do work on like camera test, I can double click on that. And there's those photos that I took when I was doing some tests from different cameras and, and brought the photos in. And that's what the tags are good for. And, and like I said, you can have multiple tags. Um, the major groups are really nice. They've got people and events and places. You can multi-tag things. Um, and that works out really nice, too. So um, make sure you make really good use of these. Use them a lot. And uh, you're going to have to play with that a little bit. We'll probably do another one later on. If I double-click like on Fiddler on the Rough, here's when I was doing some work on that one. So you can see we've got all that. So that's basically how you're going to go through and import photos into photo, onto your hard drive from your camera using the Photoshop Elements 4 organizer and then also tag them so you can really easily and quickly find them. 